The Agile Surface Engineering Lab at the University of Calgary, in collaboration with C4I, have been looking into combining multiple augmented reality devices to enhance spatial interactions. By using new augmented reality devices such as the Microsoft HoloLens, we have been looking to new possibilities of using located 3D objects with several applications. Previously, we developed a toolkit called Society of Devices, or SOD for short. It provides the integration of multiple devices and sensors to track the locations of people in a room. This serves as a basis for having located people and objects. SOD also handles tricky edge cases as it can use the input from multiple Kinect devices to continuously track human skeletons. This means a person can continue to be tracked even if one device loses sight of the person. We have been developing this technology to experiment with spatial data and gestures. For example, a limitation of the Microsoft HoloLens right now is the creation of new gestures is not allowed. This is due to restrictions in the API. We used SOD to send the Microsoft Connect hand positions into a HoloLens app. By using our toolkit, we have been able to experiment with unique new gestures as well as the management of virtual objects on the HoloLens. One application of these interactions is an emergency response. For example, in a future emergency operations center, a planner would be able to put on a HoloLens and start reacting on how to respond to an emergency using a full 3D map of Calgary. The planner would then be able to use fluid gestures made possible by the Connect to manipulate the object's position and rotation. If there is a fire and this building is to be evacuated, the personnel in charge of planning could get a closer look at the building simply by using a pinch gesture to pop it out. Responders could then identify good points to enter the building simply by walking around the located 3D model in space. They could even observe floor plans and inform personnel out in the field about what direction to go. While it's still in early stages, through the usage of other HoloLens devices, the goal is for people to look at the same 3D objects in the room for collaboration applications. SLD will handle the complex process between syncing what the devices see and where to position the 3D objects. The goal is to allow even non-HoloLens devices, such as the Project Tango tablet, to view the same objects. Our results on syncing have been promising so far, but this is still a work in progress. In addition to this, the lab is experimenting with how to display analytics and data such that it would be most useful in AR. For example, in this topological map of Alberta, we can simulate what areas would be affected in the event of a flood created by heavy rainfall by using a raise gesture. We're continuing to experiment with the possibilities this combination of technology opens up. Included with this, we're focusing on how it can be more useful to emergency responders, and we're excited to continue our work in this field.